Hi, I'm Angelo. I'm the owner and head pastry chef for Malvern Pastry Shop, Long Island, New York. Today we're going to be showing you how to make almond-filled Danish rings. Now we're going to apply the smear, almond smear. So here we're going at it. I use American almond smear because it's uh, oven stable and also they have a different products like chocolate and cinnamon. It could be interchanged using this product. Okay. Now we're going to fold the dough. And we're going to make up some Danish coffee rings. Just want to press it down a little bit. Now we're going to cut into portions. Okay. So now we're going to make up for the coffee ring. Just want to twist them a little bit. Then we're going to braid them. Now we're going to flip it over to twist this other side here. This is another individual one we could do. And again, it's important to use a good staple almond smear that doesn't run out of the product. Another small individual. It could be applied with different nuts on top or finish it differently. But we're gonna use American almond, sliced almond juice. It's one of my favorite ones because they're a little thicker than the average. Just twist the dough a little bit. Tuck it underneath and it's done. Now we're gonna egg wash them. Once the product is finished, now it gets put in a proof box and it gets proofed to approximately 20 minutes. And once it's done, it goes into the oven and baked for approximately another 20 to 25 minutes until it's done. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy making our Danish drink.